Hi friends, welcome back to Anna Nail School English channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do builder gel extensions using nail tips. So in the last video, you have seen how to do builder gel extensions over nail forms and today we are going to do builder gel extensions over nail tips. So before I start with the video, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification, like this video, comments, all those good things. So now let's start with the video. I have almost completed the dry manicure part. In case if you don't know how to do dry manicure, you can check out my Russian manicure tutorial where I have I have explained all the steps in detail. So here I'm just left with trimming the cuticle area, which I'm doing with a cuticle nipper. So I have a bad throat, so please excuse me for that. <coughs> Once we are done with the cuticle trimming, what I'm doing here is I'm using a lint free wipe and alcohol to clean the nail plate. So it doesn't matter what type of extension you are doing, even if it's for the press on nails, we have to make sure that our nail plates are clean, dry, uh, so that the extension or whatever product you are applying can adhere to your nails and it will give you a guarantee of like if it's a press on nails then 10-15 days guarantee you will have okay so after cleaning the nail plate what i'm going to do next is to measure the tips so here i am using this tip this is a square long tip with a deep c curve this is one of my favorite but the only drawback is uh, the size this is like uh, oh, uh, so for her nails i had to start with like number seven or eight because these tips are a little wider than the normal ones okay so here i am measuring the tips so when you are measuring the tips you hold the client's nail straight and this way you place the whichever number that you think is right for that particular finger you place it like this you have what you have to make sure is your corners of your tip is reaching corner to corner without you pressing it down or you are not putting like too much effort to make it reach both the corners okay after measuring all the uh, tips then what i did was i used my hand file to just buff and remove the extra thickness from the tip like that and then i use a nail glue to attach them to the nail plate so here i'm using a nail glue from the brand called shills and uh, this is a good fast drying uh, glue so far whatever i have tried and i'm applying the glue inside the tip just like that make sure you're not flooding the tip with the glue uh, we only want a uh, uh, very little glue to attach them and then hold the fingers like this and then place the tip like this and push out that glue towards the free edge and see i am not putting the tip too much inside on the nail plate it's just 20 percent i'm covering so this way you can uh, continue attaching the tips to the nails and then once you are done we are going to trim down the length of the tip and reshape it So I'm planning to do an almond shape. So here what I did was I used my scissor uh, to cut the both the corners of the tip like this. So I kept it at the center and the, in a side angle I trimmed the width of the uh, tips like this. Okay and if you want uh, after trimming this one I realized that the length is a little too much. So I decided to cut down the uh, length a little bit uh, because uh, that was too long for her to manage so we wanted to bring down the length a little bit so what i did i used a tip cutter and i trimmed down the length of the <coughs> tip like this so this you can do after cutting also then you can just use your scissor to like scissor or even nail cutter also you can use to uh, you know cut down the sides actually nail cutter is more efficient because it has like a small curvy uh, you know uh, blade so it's easy for you to trim equally and then using your hand file i'm using the 180 side and you can just file and shape the almond shape just like this after reshaping i also uh, filed and blended the tip uh, the part where we attach the tip to the nail plate so here i fo fast forwarded this a little bit and then i'm also like buffing off the shine from the tip and then dust off clean it again with alcohol and lint free wipes now it's time for us to apply a uh, dehydrator and primer i'm using model one's dehydrator and primer as you can see this is how your nail should look after your prep work now i'm applying the dehydrator and as you can see immediately you, when you apply the dehydrator it evaporates just like that okay and then we apply the primer 
after the primer i have started with a base coat application since we are doing a gel uh, extension we need to have like a gel uh, base coat uh, unless your particular product the extension product the builder gel recommends that a base coat is not necessary then you can skip that part otherwise uh, always apply a thin layer of base coat and then cure it so here i'm using tnt's uh, soak of base coat a very thin layer i don't apply the base coat all over the nails i only apply to apply it on the nail plate if you want you can go uh, over the whole nail also so today i'm using tpna's builder gel in the last video you have seen the consistency of different brands how the uh, you know the thickness of the gel is for different brands and which one is good if you haven't watched that video please watch that and then come back and watch this one okay so now we have the nails ready we have the gel ready so i'm using a round shape brush here last time i used the square shape so i also mentioned that the round shape is my favorite so i'm back with my favorite one so what i'm doing here is i'm starting with a slip base so basically what i did is i took a small bead on the brush and then i applied it on the entire nail so this is basically our slip base okay so why we do this because when we take out the bigger bead and we try to move around the gel when there is a slip base uh, it's easy for us to move around the product okay if you uh, don't do this then it will be difficult for you to move the bead towards the cuticle etc so now i picked up a big bead and i put it uh, almost close to the cuticle and then using the brush as you can see i'm pushing it towards the skin and as well as the side corners of the nail and after that with the excess i'm doing the pendulum movement so if you see i did not touch the center part of the bead I only moved it around side to side that too with the extra gel that I have okay so here without breaking the thread connection um, with the gel I have just pulled it all the way till the free edge area and then I'm going to twist the finger and make sure that I have a nice apex and the thickness of the gel is managed okay so this is a little difficult to do it on the camera but you understood uh, the because i'm using the uh, i'm turning the finger because the gravity helps to bring the product to the center of the nail and after this what i did i send it for the curing and this is how it looks after curing so you can see we have a good apex height and uh, we have a flawless application every corner is covered so we are good to go I'm going to show you this one more time. Start with the slip base, take a small bead on your brush and then apply the gel in a thinner way to the entire nail plate and then you're going to take a bigger bead so now see my nail is thumb thumb nails are wider so your bead should be bigger and you place it like this and rotate it and break it okay and then we are going to just make contact with the product again and then we are going to just push it close to the skin and don't go don't let it touch the skin in case if you touch the skin make sure you are removing that connection before you send it for cure okay otherwise it will be very difficult later to file or remove that uh, you know from the skin and uh, also it will cause lifting so make sure it's not touching and always keep the fingers pointing downwards when you're doing the gel because the gel will the gravity will pull the gel down not towards the skin area okay so this way we applied the entire gel and you see there is a bubble so you can break that bubble bubble before you like uh, cure the product after building all the nails then we again wipe the gel with a, a lint free wipe and alcohol reason there will be a tacky layer on top of the gel which we need to remove before we start filing and shaping so here i have also finished the hard filing uh, and then i did the desktop and then i used a soft buffer uh, the one eight uh, sorry the 100 side just to make sure that i have like a really smooth uh, uh, base the best part about uh, gel extension is you don't have to put so much effort to file and shape it because it's very easy to file but the disadvantage is there is a lot of dust compared to acrylic um, so there is a plus and minus uh, when it comes to working with uh, gels but yeah so we did filing shaping buffing and now it's time for us to do the gel polish application 
after cleaning up this is how our nails looks like and i think it looks just fantastic what do you guys think huh uh, if you like this uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any suggestion question please feel free to write it in the comments okay and now it's time for us to apply the gel polish so i am using a special shimmery kind of polish from shells so this i bought uh, very recently so we wanted to try and see how it looks so i have applied so i think if i have used a black base then it would have been like much more uh, bright and shiny and the color effect would have been like di really different but we like this subtle shimmery look so I applied it and then cured it and then i lastly top coated it so this is the final look and I think it turned out really nice and pretty more like a natural looking extension and this is the polish that I have used if you like this video please like share comment and also don't forget to leave your uh, valuable comments and subscribe to the channel turn on the notifications and I'll see you soon on my next video until then stay safe stay happy and thank you for watching.